Hello everybody, welcome to Candle Tips. I know that cutscene had nothing to do with Kendo, but at least now you know I'm in Miami. So if you're ever down this way, let me know. Maybe we can practice together. But right now, let's get it going. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about shin Shinai maintenance. I talked to, I caught Jeff Maruyama from my Maruyama Kendo Supply. I'll link him below. Um, and I asked him, what's the biggest mistake that you see people making when it comes to main, taking care of their equipment? Today's video is going to be really short and very concise. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Shinai maintenance. Specifically, uh, a little tip that Jeff Maruyama from Maruyama Kendo Supply gave me. And I asked him, what is the biggest mistake you see people making when it comes to taking care of their equipment? And quickly he said, well, I always see people pulling out the splinters out of their Shinai, you know, maybe shit sanding a little bit and then they're, they're going to practice. He says that when you do that, you're actually exposing or breaking more of the Shinai, making it weaker in that area. The best thing to do is to immediately just get a tool and shave the Shinai. Uh, then, you know, obviously sand it and so on. If you notice the splinter, some, the splinter lifts off from the Shinai, do not shave against the splinter shave along with it that way you will make sure that you actually not shaving too much out of your shinai sometimes when you shave one way and it goes along with the with the splinter it gets to a point where you find resistance on the shinai and then if you shave too hard on that area it's actually going to lift up right so what you want to do in that area is like especially happens close to the knot or on the knot itself on that area shift the, the way so you might have to work both ways. Don't get in the habit of just shaving out a big piece of it because that's more exposure you're gonna get in there. So try to save as much your, your shinai as you can. Every tool is a little bit different. So mine has a little bit of a shaver here and then two types of files. Then on top of that, normally I carry with me a sand block, a little sand sponge. And the last thing I promise, but I think you're gonna be very happy with this, is the fact that you know how it's hard to sometimes to take this out of the, of the shinai? Either this, which is a piece of rubber, or uh, latex gloves, not, not latex gloves, I'll, I'll find them, I'm linking below. You can literally just grab this and it comes out just like magic. I use that all the time when I need to shift, you know, the, the direction of the Shinai and it makes it so much easier. I mean, like, I cannot take it out with that, but with this thing, it's just so easy, right? Hopefully you find that also very useful. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will link Jeff's uh, website below and all the things that I use normally to fix my shinais. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to talk about. If you have any questions, please send them my way. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and share this video. Good night.